What's up, guys? It's your boy, Trump to the Gamer here, back with more Remake Rip PGA Tour. It's time for the Pitcher Game Series. Before we do that, we're going to tweak our outfit. Get yeah, ready for the new tournament. We're gonna have new shirts. We're gonna go with the, uh, gonna go with the blue t shirt. We're gonna go with the red and white shoes. And different pants. We're gonna keep the purple and black gloves. Those are our trademarks. I'm gonna go with the, uh, I'm gonna go with the black shorts. Okay, that's it, and let's have some fun here. The drag invitation, we're close to the, probably close to the end of the season, I think. That except preview, yeah. It started next week at Pittsburgh, too, so it works. This will work for us. Anyways, let's do it. Let's go to the Pittsburgh Invitational and let's have some fun with this. Alright, here we go. Pittsburgh Invitational. Starting even stroke. Second hole. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today it's live opening round coverage of the Pittsburgh Invitational. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Navala. We are back in the state of Pennsylvania, getting set to kick off the round here at one of the great golf courses in the world, Oakmont Country Club. Frank, you're very familiar with it because you were right in the mix down the stretch of the 1994 US Open right here at Oakmont. And Rich, it's so good just to be back here. You know, there's so much history uh, in Oakmont. Uh, it's Beautiful been a host sport. to so many yeah. prestigious tournaments and our the sports, such as the U.S. Amateur, the I'm U.S. Open, the Women's yeah. U.S. Open, and the PGA Championship. It's just one of the true gems on the golf landscape. And, and we'll now let's go down to the off. action at the fourth. In just a moment. Early in the round. Okay, guys. First round of the Pittsburgh Invitational at the Oakmont Country Club. Let's see how we do. Bomb this one. We'll strike. Here we go. Bam! It's just burning rubber right here. I mean, this one is taken off like a missile. Just destroyed it. He's going to try and rip the cover off it. Yeah, I did it. Holy shit, almost 400 yards. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good. You don't think I can be that good? Yeah, that's what you think? Watch me. This looks like it's hitting for the bunker. Wrong. That one ends up in the rough. That went sideways. Well, certainly playable from here. Ball is in the first cut. Not too bad. Hey, look at that. Wow, what a shot. What are the chances of making it from Oh, I'm being... All right. That cr the crowd's going crazy. I can barely hear myself speak. They have gone insane down here. And now the fifth hole, short but challenging par wow. for 182 yards. And it obviously that was insane! I can't believe it! Heavily bunkered along the way. I just hit it as softly as I could and it went in there. Holy crap! That was insane, bro! That was totally awesome. Paying attention like that a little shot school, ever Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. That's well played. That's the best shot, but I can't even look at birdie.
track. Got the curve, got the curve. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. Tap it in there. Definitely yeah. fall in love with the line. Even you with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Nice par to remain at two under. Thanks to the brilliant eagle, I should be just fine. I still can't believe I made that, guys. That eagle Part was 360 insane. here at Oakmont, Frank, it's changed a bit since you played here in the U.S. Open back in 1994. Yes, it has, Rich. Uh, they used to have a bunker behind the screen, uh, sort of back left. They've removed that now and actually increased the back of this green. I'm not going to say it makes the hole that much easier. It just gives them uh, a few more places to cut a flag uh, when they choose to stick it in the back. All right, here it goes. To the left, and I can easily spin it if I need to. Oh, a solid strike right in the heart of the green. That's all right. That's great. We can that one that. running so hot. Frank, this ball's in the rough. Anything you change in your technique when a ball's sitting down a little bit? Um, yeah, you put the ball back a little bit further in your stance because you're going to get a bit of grass between the ball and the club face. So you have to allow for that. And keep that club moving. Um, that grass is going to be is that that grass is going to create uh, a certain amount of resistance. Another curve, but I don't like these. But I made it. In for par. All right, Frank, take us down onto the seventh right, hole, par second, four at 434 yards. Another one that's just another great driving hole. Bunkers on both sides of the fairway, so you can't really bail out either way. Used to be some trees in that down the right side. They've been removed, replaced now by fescue. So if you do miss those bunkers right or left, um, it's not exactly one of the easiest chip out to the fairway. Another one that's a, a must-hit fairway. The reason why, it's a long par four, and it's the only way you're going to hit this par four and two. Okay, folks, let us continue, see if we can build on a great first round. Want to get it right in the center if we can. Here we go. Not completely full strength, but almost. Well, this one has a chance to be really good. Great and far away. Good contact, good result. Nice bounce, just keeps on rolling. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too oh, easy. Uh, yeah, swinging crazy. the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So constantly he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Yeah, so we can get it close to the ball. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Excellent shot to within 10 feet. That works. Locked in on the read and the speed. Got a little bit of a hook here. I think you can make it. Oh, just missed. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, My reasonable chance for part. He here. can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. That's all right. My knocking goodness, it. what does a guy have to do to make putt out here? That's a question I want to know about this hole, that's for sure. Knock it in. Move on. Take the bogey and drop the one under. Bad news is, that's a bogey. The good news, still tied for the lead. He's the only one disappointed. The rest of the field aren't. Made it a real cat fight. Here at that's the 8th right. at Oakmont, a famous hole. And Frank, it's not often we say of a par three. It is a beast, but the eighth at Oakmont is just that. Yeah, you can imagine a 300-yard par three to a flat green. That would be hard enough. But imagine to a 300-yard par three at a U.S. Open to a green that goes up at the front and then crowns at the top and then slips away at both sides. That's the eighth hole. Oh, 
Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Remember, out of the rough. Expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. Just a little too much. I don't know if it was wind at his back. He didn't calculate it, but he's going to be left with a difficult chip shot here. Ah, oh, come on. Pretty good shot right there. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Take it and move on, unfortunately. So our featured player will lose a shot. The question is, has the player lost their way completely? Here we are at the ninth, par four, 477 yards. Frank, this is a rugged a hole. A it is. It, um, it used to be a par five. Some say it should still be a par five. Uh, long straight hole, uh, runs alongside the first hole there. Bunkers left and right. And of course, if you find the rough, the remnants of what it used to be a par five is that nice little cross bunker in the middle of the fairway, which forces you to nice. lie out. Just a great pass at the golf ball, 310 yards, and in the fairway. Frank, this is an important approach shot because our featured player was really good early, a little bit shaky of late. This is a point in time where you need to get it back. Yeah, you almost need to stop, just stand still for a second. Uh, Almost just flush it out because at the moment you're starting to look right and left at the trouble. Let's get back to what worked. Let's start looking where we want the ball to go, where the flag is, and start going there. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Okay, that's an easy birdie. That is an excellent play right there. The approach hey, giving right him another good look. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Oh, God, it's another curved one. Nah, I'm just gonna leave it right there. Uh, I thought he made that. Just when you think you're gonna make birdie, now I have to really concentrate on this and at least make par. Yeah, sure, Dad. Ah, well, Frank, serious? he'll drop at least one shot here. That was uh, not his best effort. No, uh, poor is the easiest way to put that. Yeah, he knows not it. what I wanted. Just to tap in to finish the hole. Come on, how do I go from eagle to one under? One over, I should say. So that's a bogey, and now to one over par for the tournament. Well, can't hold me, James. Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports oh, for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner I'm saying so long for now. Hopefully, we're going to do better in the next one. Maybe it's my equipment. I don't know. I know I can do better than what happened there. What? Or over. Crazy. I'd call the shenanigans on that one. I ain't that bad. Six. What is wrong with this game? It wants to screw with me. Hold on. Let's see if we can get some better stuff here. Maybe it wasn't the driver I was using. I don't know. Let's try this one. See if it'll be of any help. I don't know. I'm honestly not sure what to do here. Okay, let's get that straight. Can't believe it put me to six. Six, uh, six over. We're gonna need a freaking miracle to come back. Here's hoping we can. Back for the second round, just a sec, guys. Well, guys, we had a great first round that went off the rails, and 
I have actually run tests of that course in the next hold, and I just cannot seem to figure it out. So it's going to withdraw, move on. We ain't gonna get Troy come so far behind, but we'll at least EA get a Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. Always a pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner coast alongside Maine, Frank okay. Nobolo for EA Sports. Frank, this is sure to be another exciting day of golf out there. What are the challenges facing our players today? The length of the golf the course for a start, Rich. This golf track. course just under 7,700 yards. It's one of the longest ones you'll play. At and least of course, the cliffs, the that's why it's called this. They certainly are in play. There is one okay. double green out there. Started. That's the 10th and the 13th hole. They share the same green. Lots of great design features, and you've got it on a prime day in okay, great condition. Go. So enjoy the round and make sure you feast on the vistas as well. It's a little to the right, but I can easily spin and it the way I want. This one has a chance to be really good. Spin it that direction. That's a good spot right there. Get out of the trap. Send a cut. All right, good. That's an absolute beauty. Players still fighting the strong winds out there today. Frank, our featured player, a bit wobbly of late. This is an important approach shot. It is. Time to just hit the brakes, do a little reset. Things aren't completely lost yet. Start to get back to that positive frame of mind. Got to hit it a little to the left. Oh, so the, the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Frank, looks like maybe the greatest bunker player of all time right there. Well, he's making a name for himself today. You could certainly put him up there with Gary Plyas, Severiano Ballesteros. That was just a great bunker shot. Damn right it was. I can't believe I got it that close. That's what you call a par save and a sand save. And that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. Wow. Well, a bit unusual. A third par three now on this front side. We're at the eighth. It's 165 yards, Frank. And this par three looks nothing like the previous two. Um, heads towards the edge of the cliff there. Long green, almost a figure eight or an hourglass shape. Bunkers left and right. Gonna have to be straight here. 
Oh, that's amazing. An exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about not concentration to do this. and focus at this point. in there. Birdie! Yeah! Woo! Birdie, 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 birdie. Top 15 now on the leaderboard. Woo -woo. Yeah! Now to the par 5 ninth. Frank, what are we looking at here? Well, back for the longer back. hitters, it's actually a chance to reach a par 5 and 2. 300 yards is where that fairway starts to bend more to the left. So if you do the maths, it's going to give you roughly 250 yards to the middle, middle sort of front left of that green. Uh, that's the easy way to play the hole. Uh, make a mistake off the tee, and you might find out this is a uh, more difficult three-shotter than what you were anticipating. Okay, there we go. Take our next shot. To the left, and I can easily spin it the way I want, if need be. I'll take that. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. All right, we'll go for it. Headed for the bunker? Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Not his best oh. shot, and now he'll have to deal with the bunker. Yeah, they say the hardest shot in golf, the next one. All right, so green side bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Uh, from the bunker to the front. Frank, not French. where he wants to be, but not out of the hole here at the par five. No, but uh, Rich, to drop a shot here would uh, would really set him backwards. Okay, I'll Solid take the I'll take the, uh, the green. I'll take the par. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Obviously, not going to get great stuff on these par fives because holes I'm not used to. Take what I can. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Excellent front side, trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? That's the plan. Whoa, that is a long, high, towering. That's like a high pop-up in baseball. That's crazy. 370. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good. Slight wag. Trying to doubt me here. Waxed arms, ready to go. This one's looking good. Right Superb there. shot. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's as that's good beautiful. as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Settles in over the putt. Why couldn't I get some of that on the, on the uh, last place where I struggled to hell? Ah. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Knock it in. Par. Good start though to this round. It's much better than the last one. Where I wound up two over. There it is. Has his par. Second round coverage coming your tomorrow for our entire crew. I'll take that. I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. Don't you screw me over. Okay, even's fine. Even Steven is fine. Yeah, let's see where we are for the second round.
Okay. Whoa! Okay, alright. Oh, we're back to the first level. For a second, I thought I said I was in first. I, I misread the score there. Okay, so even 38th place on the first hole. We'll do that in our next episode, guys. Sorry you couldn't see us do well in the Pittsburgh Invitational, but that course is just too darn tough right now. For, for our particular attributes, that course is just too darn tough. Anyways, we'll see you guys for more FedEx Cup playoffs in our next episode. So, till next time, it's your boy Charm Seeger signing out. Remember, if you like to be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Charm Edition today. Till next time, peace out, folks.